hello and welcome back to another video um uh, this one will be the last race we'll be racing for the fia the first round i think in this uh year 2021 uh we're racing the lexus as you see there trying to prep it up right for the race right here the manufacturer series round six we'll be racing in uh gonna get in for the first uh, stint right definitely in tokyo expressway we're gonna have um 15 laps on the car now just using the medium tires we have the mediums and the soft tires we go the only problem is that we're gonna have to start with a grid stop grid start with a false start check and uh, on this track uh, the first two corners are going to be hectic for sure and we're gonna see that in a few but anyway uh, joining the lobby we're gonna be around ninth in this lobby uh, uh, the only the only race I'm not done is uh, the spa race because I think that uh, there's the one I miss the spa in the rain. But any every other race I've done it, and uh, I'll link the videos uh, down below so that you can see them. And uh, qualifying, it was funny because uh, I don't know why my car was set up on the outside. Maybe because uh, it has the tourism uh, logo on it, the Dubai tourism logo. But anyway, I love the sound of that V8, right? Starting off, we're gonna change onto the soft tires for qualifying for sure. So the only problem, the only main gain here is a slipstream for like three straights. Yeah, two straights I believe. But this uh, S section is going to be hectic, and as you see there, just uh, the P11 is lagging uh, really bad, and uh, that's not the bad. We, we don't we don't need that uh, to be in front of us, but to be happening actually. As you can see there, it's very stuttering, very every left right and center. And uh, BMW backs out actually, because uh, he didn't want to be any part of that. He's Italian, I believe, yeah, in Peter and Nicola. But anyway, uh, I, I did keep my distance, and uh, I did manage to just keep in within the slipstream and get a qualifying lap, which uh, took me up to P5, but then I dropped down to P7, and, uh, I tried to go in for the move but then he fought it and uh, look at this, I'm just going to whip it forward a little bit here. Go you see I have a slipstream, I already passed him but then I'm going to break at the right point and he outbreaks himself. He's uh, already fighting and he's only in the qualifying lap at the moment. But anyway, I did try to make a qualifying lap but it was, wasn't the best so I ended up uh, in P13, just 3 seconds off the the guy in pole position and uh, that's not uh, the best place to start to race but anyway I, I did switch on to the medium tires because uh, I'm in the back mid mid uh, back I, I believe we are P13 but anyway this is the only problem we have here the false start check because uh, it's going to be carnage probably from turn 1 to turn 5 turn 4 see Okay, good start, good start. Traction kicking in. Had a good uh, exit there. Up to P12. P12. Yeah, people scraping the wall there. Now turn one. It's going to be carnage. Oh, not so much. A little bit tight here. Yeah. But then, I don't know why the Supra is uh, scraping the wall there. But anyway, let's continue. Slipstream is key here. But then turn two was the guy behind me as a 3 second penalty. Oh, why is he scraping the wall? I'm going to move on to the left side. I don't want to be in the carnage, I don't want to go defensive or anything. Just break and look at that. Oh, carnage everywhere. Oh, getting punted, hitting people. I don't want to get a penalty. Come on, disaster, disaster, disaster is kicking in. Oh, close also. Oh, okay, that was close. Oh, don't hit the barrier, don't hit the barrier. Let's go through safely. And uh, we did, without a penalty. Nice. Because here, the only problem here is uh, if you get up, if you hit the barrier a little bit, too hard you're gonna get a 1.5 second penalty and uh, we don't want that in a the NSX behind me is uh, gonna try and take the position trying to take advantage of the slip stream but I also have the slip stream of the Porsche guy the German guy in front of me as I hit that the wall there a little bit it's not ideal uh, we just need to get a good run as I say get a good run of the slip stream move on to the left side break at the 150 just at the 150 Turn in, oh, and this, and I said, oh, okay, it got parted from behind. 
You see the if you hit the wall just a little bit harder than usual, don't push me to the wall, please. Don't push me to the wall. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We don't, we don't need this right now. I'm gonna let you go. If you hit the wall more harder, you know, I can say, you're gonna get a 1.5 second penalty. That's not uh, ideal, as I said before. So, lap one, we've, we've already gone. Uh, oh, I'm gonna send it, sorry. I'm gonna send it because you're a little bit slow there. And I uh, need to get positions because uh, I don't want to fall behind to the group behind because you see there is a big stack there. You look at the top right corner of the screen. Lap one was uh, great, not great for other people, but great for me. No penalty, no 1.5 second penalty. Some people had three second penalties, and uh, that's too bad for them. Anyway, just trying to get a swift stream of the NSX in front of me. Let's see if uh, I'm gonna get a. Oh, we might get a position from the guy in P5, the Polish, Polish guy, I believe. Oh, almost went to the back of the NSX, just had to break really hard there. And uh, yeah, in that section, I went a little bit wide there, yeah, and uh, just a pixel off the mark of the white lines. And also the NSX went, went a little bit wide and like, gets a 0.5 second penalty and he's lagging a little bit also. What's with the Italians today? The Italians are lagging really hard. But anyway, on we continue down this street. This is where slipstream is key. You just need to get comfortable into the with the barriers. And uh, probably as he's going a little bit defensive here, yeah, covering the middle of the road, I'm just going to hang back a little bit of a lift here and there. And then left to the left side, just go with the driving line. Probably he'll go wide. And it does it, he covers the apex. Oh, look, a big spike there for the Italian in P4, the Porsche guy. Yeah, we don't need that right now. We don't need uh, these two people lagging. I think they may be sharing uh, inter internet con connectivity. I don't know, probably. As I send it onto the outside, I don't want to get uh, behind him and uh, get a, like a spike, and then I end up hitting him from the behind. We don't, we don't need that right now. So, uh, up to P5 from P13, that's already eight positions, I believe, right? Yeah, eight positions, which is pretty legit. Yeah, uh, I, I didn't think it's gonna get out like this. But anyway, moving on forward, uh, to a, uh, I'm a lap later in P4. I do catch up to the Porsche guy, the Italian, another Italian with the he did, I think, manage to fix his Wi-Fi. His Wi-Fi fixed itself or something. And uh, coming up into this turn right here, he goes through the Lexus, but then the Lexus doesn't uh, appreciate that. And uh, he's going to try and get the position back. It's still going to the left side. And I don't know why the Italian left the, op the, op uh, the space there for him. He would have gone defensive and kept the position. But anyway, probably he has softer tires and uh, he's quicker. But anyway, I'm just going to be with them, just stay with them, I'm not going to bump him a little bit, move on to the right side, see maybe if I can, if I, if I, if I can make the move work, going in, come on, come on, come on, oh, he's covered it, and oh, look at that, I guess his wife was not fixed, and they get a 1.5 second penalty for only that tab, as I, as I said, if you, if you hit it at a steady angle, oh, yellow flag, something happened, okay, probably spun out, Oh, and it's a Lexus, this, the Spanish guy. Oh, that's too bad for him. Let's see, look at the replay. Oh, he squeezed him onto the wall and he got a wall glitch. He got a wall glitch, that's too bad for him. Oh no. And they come passing him as he tries to turn the car around. That's not good for him. <laughs> Probably that's not good for him. Damn, well, that's okay. Now we just need to catch up with the guy in front of me. Oh, the guy behind me. Still have a point five second. I did service though, and at the end of the lap, lap 5, uh, the Spaniard in front of me managed to overtake me, but then I kept up with him, and uh, look at this, just giving him the pressure, almost spinning out again, and you, don't, you don't need that, you just need to get uh, the position back, and going into this S section right here, is, uh, it's a fast flowing, so I just need to, a little bit of a post, posting here and there, he pulls away a little bit, coming back, I just need to stay close to the barrier, not too close that you scrape it. And here, here it's tricky because you need to be, oh, as a 
jumped up it a little bit, hoping not to get a penalty. Yeah, and the dog get one. So you just need to be comfortable with the barriers and at least not hit them really hard. And I get a slip stream here, I'm gonna leave it, I'm gonna attack it right now. I would have, but I would have ended him up into the wall probably and I, oh, I almost checked the, the film up there. Yeah, I still have 10 laps, we still in lap 6 right now, we still have enough, no, no need for fuel saving as I almost actually forgot because I didn't check the fuel uh, depletion. As you move on to the right side, far right, I don't know why he's going super defensive there and he ever shoots his braking. Give me a free position up to P4 right now, which is great. Oh, a little bit of a drift here, but I hold it. Come on, let's go, no time to hunt the, the, the top two, the, the top two um, Italians, yeah, as they go in for the, the pit stops. I'm gonna go in also now, because uh, the, the two, the, the two, they're the actually, sorry, I can't even speak. The GTR, the Nissan, he, were, he was in P1 the whole time. He did go in, he did do an, uh, he did make an undercut on the, how can I put it, on the pit stop. He's on medium tires though, because he was in soft tires. He did go in, get a medium tires on, and uh, he's still going to stay uh, ahead. Coming out, we're going to come out in P10, yeah? Yeah, P10. There's still a big gap between 11 seconds between me and the guys behind. So we still have we still have time. So we just need to hunt these people down. We are we're on soft tires now. This the and I love this section here just after the pits because it's it's a good way to warm up your tires. No need to start uh, weaving, breaking hard. By the time you're in the last corner to the start finish line, your tires already warmed up. Uh, not completely, but at least maybe halfway there. So we just need to. As I span ahead, I think there's a person with a penalty there. Where is the blue flag? I think probably somebody's getting lapped or something. Or it quit. Well, actually, five people quit. If you look up to the top left, we started at 20 people. Now we only have 15. Yeah, a lot of people uh, didn't get a good start because they saw a lot of uh, people span around in that turn five, turn three, turn four, around there. This section right here, as I might say. Turn two, turn three, turn four, and turn five. There's a lot of punting, there's a lot of penalties, kid being dished out, and look at this. You're ready with the guys in front of me, with the BMW. Come on, flashing my lights. Come on, move, 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 move. Yeah, let's go. Oh, please don't. Yeah, just in time. As I squeezed through there, we just made it. Pass through the Toyota FD1. Now up to P8, yeah? Just hunting down the German in front of me. Zeno, Zephyr. I say that I think I pronounced the name well. Oh, I had somebody hit something behind there. Probably has a second penalty or 1.5. He was that. That was a hard hit on the barrier. But that's not. That, that was not my wing. But anyway, slowing down. Already got to him a little bit hard on the brakes. But yeah, it is what it is. So we just need to keep up with him. Get some good racing. Uh, the German guy in front of me so that we can get because I think B5 has not uh, beaten for sure because uh, I think he's on his medium tires he's trying to extend his medium tires I believe or the soft tires yes then B5 you can see him uh, just turn the corner just behind there you can see him just right there he's trying to materialize but anyway just keeping the slipstream on and I make a fast slap there look at that and he lets me pass by because he knows he's, uh, I'm fast to have uh, my soft tires on. He think he probably has his medium tires on. And it's also the German guy, I think he was, I believe he was in the top 10 by the time we were starting uh, the race. And he actually also managed to go through without getting uh, large penalties. We, we got penalties here and there, 0.5 for avoiding the track limits not avoiding like exceeding track limits because you just need to keep in between the white lines here so if you if you go a little bit wide there as I almost again did if you go if you cut a little bit of the corner there if you just buy a pixel the stewards are not gonna be happy and keeping it forward a few two more laps I believe we did uh, the guy goes in for actually at the end of the lap he does go 
in for his medium tires and makes me go up to P5. So we just we already up our five eight eight positions for the Saturday in P13. So it's been a good race, being a fast point race with, uh, we did on the day, the first entry. And I love this section right here. Come on, let's go. I just like the way the way transfer on the car as I hit it a little bit there. He also does hit it a little bit. He just scrapes a little bit. I'm not really sure, but. In the far end there, I think you could have seen the Porsche, Nicolo, the guy who gave me the 1.5 second penalty because of the Wi-Fi glitch there. He, spun, he made me spin around and hit the, oh, I hit the barrier really hard. Oh, I'm going to move on to the right side there. I'm going to let the German guy move on because uh, I don't want to slow him down. I'm going to just see him pass through there. Look at that. Let's go. Break. Oh, he breaks really early at the 150. Early. We're supposed to break in like uh, 120 just before the 100, oh. so that you can have a good uh, line through that section over there. That almost, I think there's a pixel, yeah. Yeah, that's not good. We just need to now get uh, go, uh, not really go defensive, but at least maintain the position. Yeah, we don't need to, and actually, he's not really attacking that much. Look at that. At the end of uh, the lap, lap 13, he's still there. I hit it. I hit again. I'm not hitting it hard enough to get a 0.5 second penalty, but hitting it hard enough to slow my momentum. And again, I'm going to slow a little bit down to let him go through because we have had a good race with him. He hasn't been attacking really hard. We've had, we've uh, also, he has scraped a little bit there. We've had good races with him. And actually, Nicolo, I think, is still there. He's still trying to get away from us, but I think he also has his soft tires on, or medium tires, I forgot to, to switch on to the, to the... Oh, almost went to the back of him there. Almost, that was really close. He threw me off a little bit there, going a little bit wide. Oh, okay. Please, no set point for a second penalty. Yeah. Oh, that was close. That was really close. He threw me off. I think he's also slowed down a little bit to give me some space. But we had a good race with him. This was actually the one of a good uh, series. Eh? At the end of the this turn right here, yeah, the soft tires were starting to go and uh, almost went into the barrier. They could have gotten a point five second penalty. But, uh, we don't need that right now. I'm going to let him pass again. We've, we've, we've done some good uh, exchange with me and him. And I appreciate that. I appreciate some clean racing. We've had some good fun here. But anyway, at the again, at the at the same point, it's his turn. He goes. He, yeah. Oh no. He could have saved that. But anyway, I was trying to save. Wait for him and see. Maybe probably we could uh, we could finish together, side by side in the finish line. But now the guys behind him were starting to gain on him, which uh, which is not ideal. We don't want to lose a lot of our positions again just abruptly here yeah? but anyway this was a good race a little bit uh, nothing much really happened but the first half was uh, yeah intense almost went to the barrier there got a 0.5 second penalty but anyway hope you did enjoy the the video the race the series the series uh, it was eventful not really eventful some of them were some of them weren't but anyway if you're still here if you enjoyed the videos so get the like uh, smash the like button subscribe to the channel for this is a hobby i'm trying to perfect editing racing you know playing video games it's a hobby one of my good hobbies but anyway take care take care of each other peace and love baby